Hi there, Jay Eichmann, Road Test Success. Great video coming in from the Eastern US today. If you'd like to be one of our contributors and have us reimburse you for the price of a dash cam, see the link in the description below. It's one of the features that we offer on our channel. Now the examiner in this video does a pretty good job of giving some tips and feedbacks to the student, so I'm going to, for the most part, let him do the talking. This video does include parallel parking with cones. I've got some tips to help you there. During some of the downtime of the video, I plan to include some of the more obscure and difficult test questions that you might encounter or situations you might encounter on the roadway. I'll include those at the bottom of the video so you have a chance to interact. And then I'll, I'll provide all the answers at the end of the video. So stick around for the end of the video and see how you did. Am I good? You're watching Road Test Success and we set the channel up a little bit differently. You'll notice in the comments section all of the comments are current. We encourage you to ask any questions you might have or just shout out asking for luck or telling us when your test date is and you're going to find that most all the people who watch our videos are going to be very supportive of you and very helpful. So let's get the test started. Don't forget to watch for those questions and check your answers at the end. No big deal. Mm -hmm. With the pin dot, it's a huge deal, you know? Yeah. You could stop right here. Okay. Put it in park. Right here? Yep. Okay. If you're driving down the street, you're going to parallel park here. The barrels are like cars on the street. Uh huh. If you back in there today and hit a barrel, then you hit a car, you had an accident, it'd be an automatic fail. Gotcha. You get three times in reverse to get this job done, okay? Okay. Let's Sounds say good. you back in here the first time at a bad angle and you think, uh -huh. man, I messed up. If you want to, you can pull right back out and back back in here. Okay, but that counts as like a back. You just, just you get three reverses, just count the reverses. If you're back in there as one, you pull out, back in, second back. Okay. Three reverses you get, okay? Okay. That's an option you can use though if you need. When you back up, if your right rear tire hits that curb, keep going with the test, it's all good. Uh -huh. If you jump on top of that curb when you're back in there or up in the grass, you're off the road and it's a fail. Okay. Need you to put this car in a box. When you're finished, no part of the car can touch or hang over that white line. Okay. The ring has to be in and clear of the line. Tires can't touch it at all. All right, and then just put it in park after yep. I feel good? Yep, after you're done. Okay. Nice job. We're gonna get out of here. Don't hit the barrels. Don't jump the curb. We're gonna go right up here to the arrow, okay? The arrow, okay. Yeah, you yeah. can back up whatever it takes to get out of here. Okay. Am I good? Yep. Get to the arrow, turn left. Okay. You said left? Yep. Okay.
at the stop sign turn right at the stop sign turn left Whenever it's safety, you can get into the right lane. Okay. Now when you're driving, the trick is to not hit the brakes to change lanes. Okay. Because okay. when you hit the brakes, everything slows down. Mm -hmm. Cars come right up on you. Okay. You know, and then it hits you because if you think, what's happening? You know, what's, what's going on? You know? Try to get around you, just change the lanes. Uh -huh. They go the same way you are. They're going to collide anyhow, you know. Okay. That's why you really want to go. If the road is open in front of you, uh -huh. you really want to go three, four mile an hour faster than the car's coming around her, you know. Gotcha. Now I know that you're taking a test because if you were taking a test and you were doing properly and getting in a close lane like you're supposed to, and then you want to turn right here, mm -hmm. getting a close lane, so you turn so I'm looking at mirror, move over, you know. Okay. That's how you would do it, the rhythm. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you're making a turn and you're kind of focusing on one lane, and I'm telling you to do something different. Okay. But you just don't want to. If you can, you want to accelerate instead of braking. Braking, I uh, gotcha. And then just go straight? Yep. Okay. See, if you make that turn and you're going down a road and you see a car behind you and you want to get over, if you just accelerate a little bit, you'll kind of walk away from that car. You okay. just do what you got to do. You know? Gotcha. In this case, that car was flying pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't really have to accelerate, but you don't want to hit your brakes. Just kind of idle along. Just, like just slow down a little yeah. bit. Right. Yeah, because as soon as you hit your brakes, all the cars behind you come right up on you. Now they say, whoa, they start scattering around you. Okay. And all you're trying to do is change lanes. Mm -hmm. One guy goes one way, one guy goes the other. You're moving over and you get yeah, one yeah. of them. Yeah. There's not a lot to it, but there's so much to it. <laughs> I find like amazing how people drive in like the city, mm -hmm. like in New York and whatnot. Yeah. We drive horrible up here too. <laughs> <laughs> See that traffic light straight ahead? Uh, that one? Yep. Yep. At that traffic light, we're going to turn left. So you want to get over right away for that. Don't break. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Turn your head, remember? Okay. And then another left right now? <laughs> yeah, we're going to turn left. Okay. you got to always make sure that you're looking behind you when you turn, okay? okay? And then... Keep a move and you're all right. You got it. At the stop sign, turn left. Okay. At the traffic light, turn left. Left? Yeah. Okay. See how you got intersections and stuff here? Mm -hmm. you don't really want to put your turn signal until you get past an intersection. Okay? Oh, yeah, because they'll. Yeah, if there was a car, that means there's nobody there, so it don't matter. But mm -hmm. If there was, you could take them out and they think, oh, he's turning here and pull out in front of each other. Okay.
traffic light, we're going to turn right. Okay. Here or just yeah, oh yeah you up, said right, up right. in the yield right away up there. Okay. Turn right at the first place to turn here. At the stop sign, turn left. You like to drive? So this exam is coming to an end. The student did very well. The examiner was a good examiner. Remember, they want you to pass the test. They just want you to demonstrate that you can drive safely. So I'm going to go ahead and review the answers to these 15 questions we had throughout the video as this video and this driving test concludes. Oh, so question one, when you're planning to make a turn, you should activate your turn signals C, three to four seconds before you reach the intersection. Question two, yellow and black diamond shaped sign a t warns you about conditions on or near the road. Question three from our video. To prepare for anything coming up on the road ahead, you should A. Continually scan the entire road and roadsides. Question four. You may turn left at a red light if and only if you are turning C from a one-way street onto another one-way street. Question five. When passing a bicyclist, you should B. Move as far left as possible. Don't cross center lines, but move left. Question six. When traveling behind a motorcycle, C. Four seconds of following distance. Question six. Seven. Who must yield when a driver is turning and a pedestrian is crossing without a traffic light? Who must yield? Correct. The driver, B. Question eight. When sharing the road with a truck, it's important to remember that in general, trucks A take longer distances than cars to stop. Question 9. What should you be most concerned about when you see this sign? D. Losing control of your vehicle if you drift to the right onto the shoulder because of that drop off. Question 10. When traveling below 40 miles an hour on a limited access highway, on a highway if you're below 40, D. Use your flashers. Use your flashers. 11. If another driver cuts you off in tra traffic, resist. You should. Just ignore them. B. Question 12. If you have a blowout, you should. Don't hit the brakes. Let the car slow to a stop. B. 13. If your car breaks down on a highway, you should. Use your four-way flashers and warn other drivers. Be very careful. 14. On a two-lane road, you may pass another vehicle on the right when D, the driver you're passing, is making a left-hand turn. And last question, 15. The law gives you blank. The law gives blank the right-of-way at intersections. No one has the right-of-way at intersections. If you arrive first, you go first. But if you are at the same time, there's no right-of-way. Thanks for watching. Check our other videos, and good luck on your test.